All right, so we're continuing our way through the new Sleep Token album, and the next track we're gonna be checking out is The Apparition. Now, if you missed my previous video, I said in that one that I've already heard the album plenty of times, um, but I was away from home when the album dropped, so I wasn't able to do the videos, but I wanted to do the videos anyway, even though it's not like a, a full-fledged like first reaction to these songs. I still wanted to do the videos because this album deserves it. Also, I know that the Sleep Token fan base really enjoys watching other people enjoy Sleep Token music. So I figured why not, uh, even though you know I'm, I'm kind of late to the party and I've already heard all those songs, you know what, we're gonna check them out anyway, and it's kinda like you guys are hanging out with me uh, listening to the new Sleep Token album. So we're not gonna waste any more time, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. This is The Apparition. This is actually one of my favorite tracks off the album. I love how it starts with like the like the hip hop uh, sound and then just builds into this like epic uh, rock kind of ballad, I don't know, like soaring chorus at the end. It's just really, really good, so let's check it out. Why are you never real Whenever you appear You leave me with that grace I am trembling with fear But I know That you will disappear Just as I awake A whisper in my ear I love these harmonies on this section. Something was between you and I, my dear. And we're building, you can kind of tell we're building already a little bit, like with the finger pick guitar and then that little bit of like scent kind of thing that's going on in the background and the vocal harmonies. Sounds so good. And then this like sounds so like cinematic almost. It sounds like something right out of a movie. I love the bass line going on in the back. Love, absolutely love when it gets big here in just a second. It's such a huge section right here. Just like crazy, like huge. Low end right here on this section sounds so good and like thick. down for the ending more like the hip-hop sound fade out 
I really like the ending of this song. I mean, I really like this whole song in general, but just how it starts off, and builds, gets huge, and then kind of brings it back down and fades away. All right, so the Apparition, like I already said in the beginning of the video, this is actually one of my favorite tracks off the new album. It's more of a uh, more straightforward song. It's a shorter song. It's only a little over four minutes. I love that it just kind of starts off with this like finger-picked guitar section and then builds into this like hip-hop section with a little bit of synth and like you don't know, okay, we're gonna kind of stick in that lane for a little while or like for the rest of the song or whatever or you know, where are we going? And then it just gets humongous like for the rest of the song and then just kind of brings it back down fades back out into that like hip-hop section and you know fades out the rest of the song i really enjoy how they build their songs they like just they're put together so well like the dynamics of the song you just can never guess for one but like they make sense even when you can't guess where they're going or or maybe the transitions or abrupt or you don't see it coming like a prime example the summoning the end of the summoning you know that, that went viral back in january when they dropped it it's such a huge change within a song that is generally just like a heavy song uh but it works and i and i feel like they just get that kind of like genre blending right every time they do it and the apparition i feel like is a prime example of that with the blending of like the hip-hop and then the uh, not really metal, but just more like epic, like rock ballad type section. As far as like the meaning of the song, I did have the lyrics pulled up, so I can only go off of that. What you know, what I interpret from these lyrics, but I know that there's supposedly like a lot of lore behind Sleep Tokens music. I have not dove into that. I mean, I enjoy their music. I've listened to all of their albums, um, and I I really enjoy their music, but I haven't really like gotten into the actual like concept behind it. Um, or like the full story. I know that their three albums are connected in some way. I don't know if it's like one long story or if it's just kind of takes place in this one universe or whatever. I'm not sure. But just kind of judging from the lyrics of the song, it looks like Vessel is being like visited in his dreams by something. I don't know, like some sort of entity. I don't know if it's someone that he loves or if it's like an angel or a demon or some, I, some sort of entity i don't know but he's being visited in his dreams and when he wakes up you know it's like he he misses this thing that was visiting and he 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 wants it to come back and he wants it to take him with them um or like leave him alone like either because he says, uh, wh where's that line at? I'm looking for it. Oh, yeah. Just let me go or take me with you. So it's like either leave me alone or take me with you and and we can like be together. So it's like it's it's like almost a blessing and a curse, this this thing that's visiting him. It's like he, he wants this thing to come to him, but also at the same time, if he can't be with them, then he then he wants to let him go. So it, it could be just a metaphor for like a person. It may not be like a person he loves. It may not even be anything like like a dream, like, you know, something being visited or he's being visited by something or someone in his dream. It could be a metaphor for like um, someone that he's in love with or something. I, I don't know. Like they're, they're in his life, but they're not like what he wants them to be in their life. Like, you know, uh, a, a partner. Um, so he's saying like either get out of my life completely or be with me. Like those are the only two options that are gonna work for me. Again, like music is so awesome because you can look at so many different perspectives, look at like look at the same song and get five, six different meanings out of it and everybody's gonna have a different interpretation. So another awesome track off the Take Me Back to Eden album. Next up is uh, Rain, I believe is the next track and Another good one. I, I hate to say it's like another one of my favorite songs. I mean, every song off of this album is my favorite song. <laughs> so whichever song I'm listening to off this album, that's my favorite one, except for Do You Wish That You Love Me. I do like that song. Um, it just kind of misses the mark a little bit for me. Like it's definitely my least favorite track on the album, but still 
uh, on an album full of bangers, you got one that is not, in my opinion, quite as good as the other ones. It's still a decent like pop song, um, but just in general, it's not enough for me. It feels like it never gets there. Like I, I do enjoy the song, but nowhere near as much as all the other songs in the album. But anyway, guys, you let me know what you thought of the apparition. Let me know what your favorite tracks off the album are, and I appreciate you hanging out and checking this out with me, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.